guys welcome to dh studio this is a real ribs podcast where we talk about the reality the truth the content and real and reels behind some creatives so we have a special guest here on this channel but before i call him to introduce himself i am your host on this channel today my name is precious Adedori. now back to our special guest you've seen him you know him but he still has to introduce himself sir you have the floor your fan i'm easy by name now isn't it calling me that thank you <laughs> All right, thank you, sir, and welcome once again on this program. It's a pleasure. You are an instrumentalist. Do you know? <laughs> okay, I've seen you behind some ministers, like some people. The likes of Toyo Siakia, Resonance Band, I've seen you playing instruments. Maybe in their programs, in shows, they're about like that. Mm, yeah. So, my first question in that is, what makes you to be an instrumentalist? Like, what Passion. prompted you? Passion. Passion. Passion and love. Passion and love. Yeah. You know what you love, what you have passion for, you always go for it. Yeah. All right. No problem. So, as an instrumentalist, okay. how do you feel? Like, being an instrumentalist, how do you feel? Yeah, I feel great. I feel better. I feel good. I feel good. Okay, behind those people that I mentioned, I have seen some of your videos. Like with them, do you get? Yeah. And I, I could see that out of every instrument in the world, it was um keyboard that you have like particular. Hope. So I want to know that is it only keyboard you learned, or there are other instruments that you learned as well? Mm, actually, right from time um, I've been a drummer. The drummer started, and that was what brought. Um, the love for musical instrument from way back. So, and as time goes on, I grew my love for piano. And I went for it, and aside, I at least a little bit I can still go on um, guitar, lead guitar, and the bass guitar too, you know, some rudimental knowledge about it I have. But I think I major on piano. I played drums for a while, so I started with, I went with piano, and that was, that's what I'm doing to date. Okay, I, I, I want to ask that, what pushed you away from being a drummer to being a keyboardist? Uh, actually, it's not like pushed me away, but you know, it's just a kind of a switch. You know, there's this there's these feelings maybe when you want you like musical instrument generally and you were like oh i just have to okay i have to some extent have moved on this particular instrument so i think it's time for me to just have the legend. you know you have to get it to where you are that was when we were young i know so we still have the ability to to assimilate like two three four instruments together then that was when i was you know realizing not like i went to learn the guitar so I was just realizing guitar myself and the basis with the idea of you know the music generally and the piano I think I you know I love all these do re me fa sol do the drums does not have it's just only tune so but piano guitar all these wind instruments and strings you know they have all these complete do re me fa sol do so I was like ah that was how I was. I, it's just a, it was a switch then. You get it? It was a switch. And then the switch turned to something I didn't even think it would be. You get it. So I just added, I added the switch then. And so that gave me the fundamental knowledge about music generally. You know, music is all about the do It's more than that, but that's the rudimental and the fundamental. 
Okay, you made mention of doing personal reality on keyboard, and you said piano is just about um, like drums is just about. Does that mean there is no like musical, like musical thing? Musical, you know, I'm not a music person, like, but you know, is there something particular like that has to do with music generally that does not attach to drums? Uh, you know, um, I, I think drums are classified as percussion instrument. So we have other percussive instrument like that. Um, the drums, the conga, some beat and all. There are many actually. And traditionally, from Nigeria, we bring in talking drums, the omele, the... So they have their own language or how should I put it? Easy language. Music, musical language. You get. I, I think I think people use like some professional people use the the the, the beat it to to give us the do the mi do but not as tune as we have it on keyboard the strings and wind instrument. You get. That's so lovely. Thank you. So I want to ask of your parents' support. Like, what was their reaction when you started learning all those instruments that you mentioned? Uh, their reaction, you know, as <laughs> as um, Nigerian, a Nigerian boy and Nigerian parents, let me say Nigerian citizen, not all Nigerian citizens actually, not, not all Nigerian parents actually, but you know, the kind of environment we were brought up and the way we were brought up makes them not feel the same way we felt then. Do you get it? So they were like, It'll be like those school, you know, you coming from school and you just have to yeah, I want to be a bad thing, but go to home, you drop your bag and if you left for maybe one church, you had a sound from a closer church to your house and you're like, ah, I just have to be there. You know, that's the passion. I just have to be there to see what they are doing. Hmm. So before you go to home, it's maybe you go to home around late night, you already know you are in soup. <laughs> Look black. I can actually do this. Cause you, you that there are some domestic works that need to be done at home. Yeah, exactly. So you failed to do them. So we are already in soup. <laughs> but we didn't give up actually, because it is the it is passion. Okay, now let's assume it. They were the one that took me True. to where I have to learn it. So they will they will, they will they give if they understand and give things up. Definitely. Do you get? So not I'm not blaming them actually. It is just this mentality in most parents do you get so i can't say not that they, they don't really support but you don't have to give up what you have to do for that thing no even if it is even if it, okay you have to wash clothes food wash plates all these domestic assignments at home even your assignment your school assignment you don't have to leave your assignment and say you are going to to i could remember that one time like that i think i thought my dad saw a drumstick at home and I was playing drums then because I bought the drumstick bag and the drum key in my money then so we saw it was like who owns this thing I was like ah, I'm the one like ah <laughs> you bought I was like yes <laughs> so he went to my mom oh Ramo eh how may I like you I can actually yeah and ah so in his mind he was like ah <laughs> yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. And this is that what some parents actually they are doing for their parents, for their, for their kids, you know, because they've seen the passion in them. And they're like ah, anything that will cost you, I'll give it to you. But our own parents don't have the understanding like that. Yeah, I think Do you get. I don't blame them actually. No. That was how they were brought up too. They probably. Do you get? So I don't blame them. Not that they don't support, and not that they. Because as time goes on, they, 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 they kept seeing the, the changes. Yes, that the okay, realities. okay, yeah. this is. So from there, they, are, they started showing some love, like, and I that was when. Ask of that, but thank God. That was when uh, I'm not in the big boy, you know. So it's not like, not, not learning stage anymore. So they've been seeing, like, ah, okay. Ah, 
Eh, I'm not even looking at you. I'm not even looking at you. The joy. Do you, do you get? Do you get? That's it. All right. Thank you so much. My this brings me to my next question, and my next question is: What are the challenges that you faced, when, like when you started, aside from the ones you said now, and the challenges you are facing presently as an instrumentalist? Uh the challenges, the challenges I faced. The, okay, the challenge or the challenges? The challenges. Ah, um, Olofau. Then, um, it's always like you know, learning instruments needs um some GS, like proper GS, you know, to have, to have the better understanding. But we couldn't get that. Do you get? Sorry, proper, proper, proper GS. Like, you know, there are some people that, that will be watching Gadget, this. I mean. Okay. Gadget. So, okay, for example, I'm, I'm learning drums. So, and the proper way to learn a drum is for you to have a personal drums. Hmm. Yeah. And before you can actually have a personal drums. Okay, we have some kids. If you check social media, there are some kids these days. You know, they went for, okay, I think a guy, a small boy went for US talent. He's a drummer. And he plays perfectly. He's, he cannot even sit down. So he stood up pressing the kick and you know and it, that's because he had the proper the Giant. right gears at home, you know. So that was that those are the things we lacked. Then assuming we have all this, because it, it's a big challenge actually. And for whosoever anybody that wants to get to learn all these things needs to get then it's a big challenge for them too. If they are not getting the proper gear, the the things to look to 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 use to learn. It won't be so easy for you. So it's a big challenge, and the challenge I think I'm facing now, yeah, as, an that, as an instrumentalist, is um, you know, should I call it intimidation or something? Like you don't have, it's still the gadget actually. Not having something. Because if you have the gadget, you'll be able to rehearse some things. So yeah, being let's, perfect. You get. So let's now assume you lack, you're lacking the gadget. So you are just trying to get some, you know, basic things and all. Yeah. So you now went out for gigs. You got there, you met some people who help you. Ah, they already they they get what they need. They so have everything. Do you get? So the way that they go, then, then go they play. It will be different from you. You be like ah, you never able to play today. Should I call it intimidation or oppression or something? Okay, I as a keyboardist, as a pianist, I went for a gig and I met my fellow keyboardist. That brought in maybe like motive or or sex hundred or something. And you be like, Ugh. and like me, I, I don't even hold the sustain pedal. <laughs> Do you wow. get? I'll just be like, really ah. Hey. So maybe the artist I followed now mounts the stage or mounts the the pupils or something. I just have to be playing consciously. I'll be like, make a no say, ah, I'm playing wrong. I'm playing. Wrong. Do you I, get that thing? Yeah, it's a big I, challenge actually. It's a big challenge. And the time too is not, you know, we we striving now to, you know, putting some things together to rehearse and all, blah blah blah. And we still have other things to do too. Do you get? We still have some live activities to mm-hmm. to do. So there's no, there, we don't have, we don't really have the enough time, time like to that. perfect some things. Do you get? So it's a big challenge. All right. Thank you so much for that. I really like want to relay that to. That was 2020 during the lockdown. That <laughs> I wanted to learn uh, lead guitar, mm-hmm. but unfortunately, I actually fell in love with it. And the reason, more reason why I fell in love with it then was because, like, I could learn fastly on it. But hey, boss, hey, I cannot lie. <laughs> I can't even know how to play like lead guitar again. Why? Because the guy that taught me then he said that if I really want to be consistent, it's I have to one. have my yeah, own so like i can actually relate and thanks for that so this brings me to my next question as an instrumentalist how do you cope with being a public figure you know instrumentalist you are like public figure to people okay. to the world so how do you cope with being a public figure uh public figure it's just like other celebrities or other creatives out there yeah, so there's nothing too special about it. It's just a normal thing. Just that you 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 
you have fame, like you know, if you are if you are so good at what you do, yeah. so there will surely be fame. Ah, another guy with that, another guy with the you know, you get it. At least it's a fame. So um, I think it feel good, and all it it make you to be to to be to be conscious of yourself, not to overdo some things out there, because you have a brand and a name to protect. As yeah. as as anybody ever like come to meet you and say that oh I do see you at the back of this also person like how do you treat such person like or maybe many people might have come to meet you and then be like ah this guy I know you you play keyboard you play keyboard you used to I uh, play keyboard for this also artist yeah, that yeah, I mentioned yeah, the likes yeah. of mommy Toyo Siakia like that so how do you feel how do you cope like how do you interact with such mm. audience. Yeah, it it happened a lot. You know, it happened a lot, and you, so many people now come to meet you at that spot. Some might even Thank get away to get your number and yeah. them like boss. Ah, uh, I saw you did so so please yesterday. Now you did ah uh, they are they feel they be like ah uh, boss. Now God don't know me who me I just did share you get, and that's that's one thing about me. Anybody that even I don't know I don't even want to know how small you are. Once you come to meet me like ah. Uh, now you the ah and ah eh chama now you no be me you do you get so it's not something I don't see that some people are like some people just be like eh uh, be like well, okay maybe some people come and meet you and like ah boss to Ali you alone ah now you now you be like ah my boy eh my boy for we here who be your boy it's it's cause it it is it is I I see it as grace. Do you get? I think that's great. So you don't need to be like, probably because people have seen it and you can do it. So not on yourself too. I don't know. My own is always my own perspective actually. So I'm always like, boss, ah, okay. Let me have, can I have your number? Ah, my number. Okay. Now you get them. That's Say actually, yeah. That's actually good. I like that. There are many instrumentalists that people they will know that. Okay, people are admiring them, like wanting to be closer to them and then they will put on the spirit of pride and be like like shunning their fans and the likes and it's not meant to be so. So I really like the idea that you said. This is the second to the last question. Yeah, as an instrumentalist, <clears throat> Let me sit up. Waiting up on waiting. Let me sit up and ask you this. Okay. Because <laughs> so, as an instrumentalist, like, you know, girls, ladies now. Uh -huh. I know, I know. You feel um, <laughs> yeah, no. So, you know, ladies will, like, definitely admire you, mm. run after you, like, wanting to get close to you. Like, you understand what I mean now? Don't let me. And, you grab that. See, so, you, how do you cope? God. As an instrumentalist, how do you cope with ladies that <laughs> you know that okay, well, this particular person is like sticking on me? Like, how do you cope? It be like say, <laughs> it be like say, you people don't need to meet because which meeting? I have been hearing this particular thing, not today. It, why is he always instrumentalist only? Yes. Why no. do you talk about pastors? I don't talk about doctors. I don't talk about mm -mm, mm -mm. about this is an musicians. instrumentalist on this program today. So we are we are directing the question to actually you said why don't we talk about pastors? Fine. We can't really talk about pastors because pastors are not instrumentalists, right? No, it's not it's not because they are not instrumentalists. It's because you will hardly see any lady that would pray that wants to marry a pastor. I'm sorry. Really? <laughs> But you know, that as an instrumentalist, that. when lady sees that ah, this person is good, see the way they play keyboard, eh? See how his hand they run for uh, guitar strings. Oh my, this guy is it's too cute now. And uh, you understand what I mean, ladies? Just, I'm just saying, you know, I'm all right, all right. So how do you how do you cope with women, with ladies around you that you know that they really want something like something outside friendship? Like you get, hmm? you cannot differ. The thing is, you know, the Bible says no one can receive anything except it's given. So there is this grace. Mm -hmm. Do you get it's a grace, so mm -hmm. 
My sister. Who can receive any lady except the Lord is, eh? Or which one? What? How are you trying to interpret that verse? <laughs> the Bible has told us not to remove or to add to the scripture. Hmm. That again. Ah. <laughs> so okay. what I, what I'm saying is, it's a grace actually, because it's not easy. Hmm. Grace of self control. Hmm. Do you get? It's not easy actually. As you've said, you no, know, we are we are all humans. As you've said, they will surely show up. You know, uh, it's not easy for you to, okay, as a gospel instrumentalist, you play to bring down the presence of God. Not only musicians sing to bring down the presence of God. Mm-hmm. Instrumentalists played to bring down the presence of God too. Yeah. You do get, and as a um, random instrumentalist, you play to add glamour to what you are doing. You know, to bring happiness, to show, to give, to make people happy. Okay. Do you get? Yeah. So, people that are happy, once they are happy and at the moment, thereafter they will always be happy with you too. Mm. So the same way guys, the same way ladies are showing up and like, oh I like that guy. It's the same way guys too are showing like I like that boy, I like that now my guy with that. Now my guy with that. Do you get? So with the grace of God, we shall overcome. We shall overcome. Are you I'm talking saying. generally on behalf of Every other instrumentalist out there, or you're talking from your own perspective. Actually, I should because, have. Because sorry, sorry, right. sorry to cut you. Because I, I, I know of some instrumentalists <coughs> that no, you don't. Ju- you don't need to. People don't need to tell you when yeah. you see them. You know that ah, this person. Yeah. Okay. Let me show. Let me show you. Let me shock you. Some people actually learn instruments in order for them to Catch possess. Girls. Yes. Hey, it happened that guy. <laughs> and I'm praying for them to have the grace too. And uh, you are trying to say that you are not that at all. Hmm. Okay. No, I don't actually have to, you know, start be yeah. start and be saying ah, I'm not that. Mm. I Do you get? If you get to know me, you will know better. Mm. You get to know me, you will know That's better. That's not an invitation. You grab that. Hey. <laughs> that is not an invitation. <laughs> you grab you that. But my point is, but my, but my point is, you know, if as an instrumentalist, I don't think we really need that because if we take that as priority in no time you'll be down mm-hmm. that's a fact mm-hmm. you get so normally ladies will show no some ladies will be show like they will really show you interest they like ah baba now nah, you are going to say ah. the way you they strike that call the way you they do no, see ladies. i have friends i have friends ladies that, want yourself see, I have other instrumentalists as friends that whenever they play, eh, you you go to fall for them, say, ah, bro, especially all those drummers. Hmm. Because you know, no drums are more louder than strings. It, yeah, yeah. It shows more reactions. So and if you're a smiley person, a happy person too, that drums, you're like, ah, <laughs> my bro. Guys be like, ah. See that guy. Play. You get, but you don't. Get I don't think we really Not need. that. The anointing is too enough. We don't really need to, you know, be obsessed with, it. no, because in no time you will be down. That's the fact. No time you will be down. I, I I have a friend, a very close friend of mine. He plays instruments too, and like he stays in Lagos. And one time like that, like we were we were on call, like we were on conversation, and one of his friends had to collect his phone and be like. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? When he got the phone, he was like, You're talking to a lady. Hey, Jesus. So the guy spoke with me and was like, You will be the very first person this guy will actually like a lady that this guy will have a conversation with on call. Like, so definitely it shows that there are some instrumentalists that are not in that line of, you know. So the last question that I have here is, What is what advice can you give to the upcoming instrumentalist? You know, we have some people that will be watching us definitely, and then maybe they've been learning, they've started learning instruments. So, what advice can you give to them as an upcoming instrumentalist? All, right, all I have to say is be consistent, be consistent, and pray. Pray. Don't humanize to be consistent. Keep rehearsing, keep rehearsing, and be yourself. Don't don't try to don't be intimidated and don't 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 be too full of yourself. Yeah. And be humble. Mm. Mm. Be 
consistent and pray. Be consistent, be humble, don't feel intimidated, and then pray. So the last point, I said it earlier, don't humanize. <laughs> so thank you so much, thank you so much for Sounds coming, good. thank you so much. We you really, like, really appreciate your presence here. Thank you so much. So thank you guys, thank you for watching this program today. So don't forget to like, comment on the comment section, and then subscribe to that button. Don't forget to share to your friends also. So till we meet next time. Thank you.